Okay, marijuana, as you know, is uh, the drug that the most uh, the abused drug around the world. Uh, the eff effect of marijuana occurs through stimulation of two receptors. Uh, they call CB1, cannabinoid receptor 1, and cannabinoid receptors 2. Cannabinoid receptor 1 is found mostly in the brain, while cannabinoid receptor 2 uh, is found in the immune cells of the body, but it's also very uh, prominent in the brain. But most of the effects of THC is through the CB1 receptor in the brain. Cocaine it works in the brain by blocking what are called uh, dopamine transporters. So cocaine blocks these uh, transporters and causes the level of dopamine to increase in the brain areas that are connected to pleasure, reward, and also addiction. That's the way cocaine causes addiction. Methamphetamine is a very important drug. So right now in the United States, it's the second uh, drug that abuses, the most common drug abuse. Uh, when methamphetamine gets in the brain, it goes into areas of the brain where there are dopaminergic systems. The co uh, methamphetamine gets into the terminals of the dopaminergic system and causes release of dopamine. And with the dopamine level is very high, it stimulates dopamine receptors in these brains. That's why people become very addicted to methamphetamine. Methamphetamine, when it uh, causes dopamine to be released, and the dopamine re uh, stimulate the dopamine receptors, there are a number of cascades that get activated in the cells that have dopamine receptors on them. And one of the very important things that happen is that uh, there are genes in the dorsal striatum, in the nucleus accumbens, structures that are important to addiction that are stimulated. Those genes, when they get stimulated, they also stimulate other uh, genes to get increased in the brain of addicts and also in animals. Those genes are important for learning and memory and by affecting this gene um, it's possible for methamphetamine co to cause memory deficits in human by changes, by changing the transcription or the expression of these genes in those areas of the brain.